so today's battle is between the largest snake and the largest shark, which is Megalodon versus Titanoboa. Let's get this fight started, shall we? So Titanoboa was around, um, okay, so Titanoboa was around 42 feet long and weighed around a ton. I think... Yeah, I think. Yeah, you weigh about a ton. So then, okay, let's get into the Megalodon. Oh yeah, the Titanoboa has been known to eat like crocodiles and other stuff. They even fought against a, a giant turtle. So the Megalodon weighed around um weighed around like seventy no fifty to seventy five tons. But some reached up to a hundred weighed up to a hundred tons. There's that. They could be up to fifty feet long. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Megalodon ate whales too, so yeah. So that's the thing. Okay, let's compare the weapon, weapons. When it comes to jaws, the Megalodon's jaws are a lot more superior. The Titanoboa has backwards facing teeth, while the Megalodon has teeth that freaking. that can insta kill pretty much almost anything that it comes across its prey. So yeah, Edge goes to the Megalodon. Secondary weapons. Constriction. Oh, wait. Main weapons. off. Oh, okay, so, yeah. Secondary weapons. Tail slap versus... No. Ramming attack versus constriction. Constriction. The Titanoboa can ambush the Megalodon and just constrict it. You know, that. It might even possibly kill the shark. X-Factors. The Megalodon was the biggest freaking shark that ever lived. So far, it has tough skin and doesn't need to go up to air to breathe. The titanium bone needs to do that though. And plus, the Megalodon has the strongest bite of anything living yet. But for now, this is something might come up later that might have a bite force stronger than the Megalodon's bite force. Okay, X Factor is the Titanoboa. Titanoboa could camouflage into his environment and was a pretty good, am pretty good ambush hunter. He had backwards facing teeth, so that means even if the prey got out of the Titanoboa's bite, biting grass, it would tear off a lot of skin, meat, and blood, you know? So, yeah. Main stats. So, in water, the Megalodon is a lot faster. But the but Titanoboa is a lot faster on land because, you know, sharks can't go on land. Strength, they're tied. Shri no, brains, they're tied. Aggressiveness, this goes to the Megalodon, and defense goes to the Megalodon as well. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> In this fight, another X factor for Titanoboa is that um, the Titanoboa can go on land. In this fight, is like shallow water. Like between the 50 and the 50. Okay, so rules. The fight takes place in water that is, 60, that is 80, 80 feet deep. Okay, so it's pretty it's pretty shallow for these two creatures. But anyway, let's fight. The, the Megalodon is just swimming around and sees this giant noodle thing. So he, he, he swims towards it and tries to jump down, but the Titanoboa dodges out of the way, bites its gills, and constricts. Now, as you know, the Megalodon has gills and he needs those to breathe, and if they're injured in any way, it will cause a lot of trouble. And plus, this Megalodon is almost pretty beat up. Like, look at those scars on him. So the Titanoboa starts constricting, and the shark tries to bite the snake many times. 
before shaking him off just enough so that the so that the the shark can bite the titanoboa's body. The titanoboa is still constricting this huge this huge shark. So yeah, the uh, megalodon bites the titanoboa's body. Body, Jesus Christ, <laughs> stuttering. Bites the titanoboa's body and like and shakes it. This makes the titanoboa let go of the shark. And now it's for, and now it's biting, and then it starts to bite for dear life, biting its gills, nose, head, fins, anywhere. So yeah, the megalodon lets go of the titanoboa surprisingly, and the snake tries to go up to the to the surface to breathe, but the megalodon swims no swims up towards the titanoboa. Bites its midsection, ju- jumps, and then that's when it breaks the surface, jumps out of the water, and then once they both land, both creatures land in the water. Whoosh, the megalodon bites the titanoboa in half. The titanoboa is just flailing around the water as a lifeless corpse. The titanoboa is dead. The megalodon is one, and is now going to eat the two, the the two halves of the megalod, the two halves of the titanoboa. Winner is the megalodon. Verdict: I think the megalodon would win around ninety-seven percent of the time. No, actually ninety-eight. It's just that the megalodon is a lot more powerful than the titanoboa. Plus, like. Look at this. The titanoboa. It's like pitting. It's like pitting my. It's pretty much like pitting Mike Tyson against my 12. Against my 11 year old brother. The titanoboa represents my 11 year old brother. And the megalodon represents Mike Tyson. I mean, come on, Mike Tyson will kill my brother if he just did that. Come on. Like, I mean, the Titanoboa might do some damage, but Mike Tyson's the heavy hitter and might ki- even kill him if he, if he had, if there were no restraints. So, yeah, but who do you think would win if the Megalodon fought the Titanoboa? Let me know down in the comments down below. In the comments down below, make sure to subscribe and like, notification, and share. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.